Hello everyone, DJ Fruity back again. It's time for a card class. Unfortunately, I am skipping a card class today because I, according to my list, I'm scheduled to do Floral versus Smoke and Mirror V6. Unfortunately, I got no idea where my floral is. It's somewhere in my closet in my boxes. That's where I'm keeping all my cards now is stacked up in my closet instead of under my bed. Uh, but anyways, because I don't know where that is, and I'm already, it's already like almost 10 o'clock, <laughs> and I'm trying to get these videos to you, I decided to just go to the next one, because I know where the cards are, and it would be a lot faster. I will do that one sometime soon, probably this week, just not today. <laughs> so let's get to it. This one is the Infinity versus the deck one. This is Fear 11 versus Illusionist. It's a pretty interesting one. And it's requested by the Joker Gamers. So go check out his channel. First of all, very quickly, if you want to know the differences between the V1 and V2 of the deck ones, just a quick look at that, since I never did it before. As you can see, the thinness on the box is a little bit different. This one looks a little more polished, a little shiny. Signier, as you can see, it's definitely a signier. That's one of the main differences, and again, you can see that on the sides a little bit. The other difference is the V2 actually has a thumb flap. This one does not. This is the V1. Really poor planning. I don't know why they did that. And it also has a couple little dots on there, and it says two for V2. That's the main difference. You may notice a slight color difference in the court cards as well. But anyways, let's look at these. The deck one from Theory 11. It's pretty nice looking, very metallic looking, embossing, very polished looking box. It says industrial edition, split spade. And back you see the back design, it's just very shiny. You do get an ad card, a double backer. It's pretty nice. You got some mechanical components to it. Very industrial. Number cards are standard. Court cards are standard, except they got a grayish look to them. Um, this is not deck one versus. This is not version one versus version 2, however I figured I would show you. So this is the version 2, this is the version 1, you can see there's a little more grain, uh, it's a little bit darker than the original ones. Other than that, it's basically the same. So anyways, cold cards like I said, standard except they got a lot of grayish almost bronzy type colors and again the gray background in the box this looks really metallic <laughs> the ace of spades it's just like the box a split spade kind of held together with a bolt or whatever it's industrial it's pretty nice Actually, here's a good comparison. So as you can see, some slight color variations. It's very slight. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just a minor change in the printing. But anyways, jokers look like that. It kind of looks like a face. It's buttons, power buttons to something, some kind of a scene. And it says joker on it, but it definitely looks like a, a face. And the other one is identical. The back design, I think I already showed you that. It's pretty nice. On overall, a good stock and finish. Oops. That's that. The Infinity. It's pretty cool looking. It does have embossing. Um, embossing. <laughs> yeah. Tongue tied. And some foil. 
the back design also has some embossing, although it's kind of hard to see when you just look at it. And it's a pretty nice, you know, back design. And you got this figure eight, whatever, on the flap. You get your standard ad card. You also get a double backer. There's your back design. Really nice. Some people were a little bit upset because it doesn't exactly match the colors. I think that's just minor. But it is a nice back design. Court cards, 100% custom, yet somewhat standard. They do got metallic inks on them, from what I can tell. I would definitely say that's metallic ink. And they look, you know, fairly traditional but custom. I do like them and they got a lot of greens and grays and reds on them. Pips, custom as well. They got nice pips on there with some borders on them, white and black borders and red and white borders and you can see the metallic ink. And you can see I mean, there's your clubs there, that was your diamond, your hearts, and your spades. Pretty cool. The ace of spades, uh, it looks pretty interesting, it looks like, I don't know, <laughs> it looks like a heart is being blown up or something. It's like, I really don't understand what it is, what the theme is. But it's kind of cool, and then it says Infinity Series, which is weird because they haven't made it into a series. They haven't made another one. The Joker is this dude. Lots of hair and green. And it says Jokers. It's nice, it's different. It does have some metallic inks as well. And it's, you know, it's not just standard clown. And he's also got some writing around his eye. And it says infinity along the top here. I believe. Or maybe I'm wrong. It says something else. I don't know what. And I believe. Oh yes. This one has a five of spades reveal. Which is always cool. And. There's no other reveals that I can see. Stock and finish. It is comparable. To the deck one it's basically the same thing one thing you will notice the deck one seems to have really big thick borders but then again this one's also got pretty big borders but more standard <sighs> overall i think for me the one i like the best out of these two i mean they're both nice but personally i kind of prefer the illusionist one whoops there you go you can see them now I kind of prefer the Infinity. If I had to choose one, I'd go with this one. It's got nice custom faces. Pips are custom. The back design's pretty nice. Jokers are interesting. They got a reveal. You get your double backer. The Ace is pretty interesting. Overall, I just, I don't know. I don't really know what the theme of the deck is. Unlike the, the deck one, I know it's industrial. I know it's mechanical. This one, I don't know so much what the theme is. But I just like it better. I like the custom cord cards. I like the colors. I like the metallic inks. It just pops a little bit more. And I like the back design. And plus, the borders aren't humongous. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> that is this card class. Make sure you go check out the Joker Gamers. I promise I will get to the other card class that I skipped in due time. <clears throat> but anyways, that's all I got. See you next time.